Hey guys, so for today I have my May favorites and regrets for you guys. I'm really excited to do this video because I have so many things that I just want to talk to you guys about and share with you guys. And I also have a couple of regrets that I'm really excited to share as well. So I don't want this video to be too long, so let's just go ahead and get started with my favorites first. So I pretty much have all makeup products to mention for my favorites and regrets, except for two things. A skincare product for regret and a whitening teeth product for my favorite. Um, I'm just going to mention that first just to get that kind of out of the way since the rest of the items are makeup related. So I just want to let you guys know that this video is going to be sponsored by White With Style. You guys know that when I do sponsorships, it's only with products that I've tried out, actually like, and then I go ahead and move on with the sponsorship. I've talked about that before, so I'm not going to make this video too long and, um, uh, what's that word called? Uh, chatty, I guess. Um, and kind of just go on on a rant about that. So you guys know and I love the relationship we have. Like you guys literally trust me so much and I really value that. Just getting that out of the way, I want to show you guys white with style. I know there's a ton of like teeth whitening stuff out there and it's so hard to figure out which one to get, which one's good, I mean is it just a gimmick and blah blah blah. And to be honest, my main thing when it comes to teeth whitening is finding a product that is not going to irritate my gums too much because I already have uh, really sensitive teeth regard like without using whitening products so when I use whitening products they already make me super sensitive the good thing with this one is I find that you don't get really 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 sensitive so that's my main thing I've really been loving it this month I like to take care of my teeth just because I am like on YouTube and I'm talking to you guys all the time so I want my teeth to look good on camera especially but not only that when you wear different lipstick colors I don't want my teeth to look yellow and pull out the yellowness and all that stuff I just want my teeth to be super white so I really really love this one I know I've mentioned some other whitening products in the past but to be honest this one has been my favorite thus far I really like it personally because I find that it's the one that makes my teeth the least sensitive this is basically one where you can make like the little teeth tray molds I did mine already so I don't want to show you guys because it's kind of gross like I made my teeth molded to it anyways um, you can like make your teeth mold to it and then you put the little light in your mouth and the light really helps to activate it as well and you get the little syringe with the product this entire kit is good for about 10 treatments which I really like because you don't want to buy the kit and feel like you can only use it two or three times I like the fact that you can use it 10 times which I only do it about once every week every two weeks just because I do have sensitive teeth so I don't want to use it too often so basically this kit would last you a couple months if you really take it in I also love that this product is cruelty free vegan and gluten free as well so it's just super good quality I do have a coupon code that can get you guys the kit for $28 I will leave all of that information down below the link where you guys can purchase and the coupon code as well so make sure to check that out if you're interested so on to the makeup I have a ton of stuff to show you guys the first thing that I really want to talk about like I just really have to talk about them are the makeup geek foiled shadows I am an affiliate of makeup geek you guys know that they don't sponsor me basically what being an affiliate means is that um, I get like my own personal link with them and I get commissioned through any purchase that's made through that link and you guys know that I've been open about that and what I love is you guys are so supportive a lot of you guys have even said to me oh my god you have like a commission link next time I order I'm gonna use your link so you can get commission and you'll support me that way and I'm just like seriously you guys are flipping awesome I feel like you guys really trust me and I love that and I honestly would never take advantage of that because I don't want to kind of damage that I want you guys to always continue to trust me so anyways I'm kind of getting off guard but I love the fact that you guys do that because it's so supportive this is basically my entire foiled shadows collection I love them so much that these suckers got their own Z palette like they have their own Z palette and no one else is gonna come in here okay except for these foiled shadows because they're so amazing I love the quality of them the pigmentation the sm like the just the way they are, the shades, they're amazing. I'm going to swatch quickly just a couple of them. The first one is one that I did a tutorial with and it's called Whimsical. And it's just this gorgeous, like, it turns up more silver on me because I am tan. But if you're pale, it's going to come off more of that pale pink silver. The second one is Starry Eyed. I believe this is Starry Eyed. Yes, so Starry Eyed, which is just a beautiful, like, pale silver golden rose gold-ish. And this one I'm obsessed with. Like, I'm sorry, I'm swatching all of them, but I love them. This is High Wire, and I love it so much. It's kind of a silver, but on me, it really pulls, like, this pale baby blue with a slight lilac tint and I'm just obsessed with it. One of them I really love as well is I'm gonna stop swatching now because I don't want this to turn into like a really long video but I love Magic Act right here. Let me just do one more swatch. I love Magic Act. It's the most perfect gold ever. It's this beautiful pale gold that's not too yellow, not too pale, not too champagne. I highly suggest if you don't own any of the Makeup Geek foil shadows 
choose some shades and get on it because they're awesome. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about are the, quickly I just want to mention, the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. I really love this shade right here. It's super warm, but it's so pretty. It's M650. It's really gorgeous. And then I have M600 right here. I really love them just because the blendability of them are just amazing. I know these shadows are so expensive, and that's why I'm only trying them out now. I'm kind of late on the bandwagon, but that's because they were so expensive. I purchased these myself, and I really just feel like they are definitely worth it. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like there are cheaper shadows that are amazing as well. Maybe not exactly the same as these but there's other cheaper alternatives that are amazing as well so if you can't afford it don't feel like you have to but if you have a little bit of extra money to really splurge and or if you're in the mood to like splurge these are really really nice I love this shade right here called M600 it's truly unique it's this beautiful uh, dark cocoa brown like I just it's so so beautiful this one right here reminds me of Lime Crime Cashmere liquid lipstick in a shadow and it's just gorgeous. I love it so much. So since we're sticking in the kind of palette trend, I'm going to show you guys another palette that I've been loving. This is the Morphe Blush Palette in the number 9B. I'm so obsessed with this. It is really, really good quality for such an affordable price. And I love how you have every possible blush shade that you would ever really need. This one right here is the one that I've been using the most. It's just a really, really nice nude shade. And this one right here is more of like a natural pink nude. And I just, I love all of these. I feel like these ones would be beautiful for fall or deeper skin tones. And I feel like this is awesome also if you do freelance makeup. This would be amazing to have. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about are two foundations that I've been loving. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This is brand new and I mentioned this in my foundations reviews for high-end foundations video and a lot of you guys wanted me to talk a little bit more about it. I love it so much. It gives you this beautiful medium to full coverage, kind of satin finish, uh, slightly luminizing and it's waterproof. I'm going to be taking this on vacation because how perfect would this be for the beach? I know some of you guys are thinking, girl, like liquid full-on foundation for the beach. I'm crazy like that though, like I'm crazy. You know, guys, you guys know me, like I love that cake, so I can't just go to the beach with no makeup on. Like normal people would just throw on some powder and go, whereas I would put on my MAC Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I heard Carly Bybel even say that she wore this in the shower just to test the waterproofness and it literally did not budge. I haven't done that, but she did, and we have her stamp of approval. And how awesome would this be to just go in the pool and not have to worry about your uh, foundation coming off? It's going to be a summer staple foundation, so run out to your MAC store and grab this. I have mine in the shade NC35. I recently just did my drugstore foundations video, and as I was uploading that video, the same day I tried this foundation, I talked about in that video how I haven't really given this foundation a try. I tried it last week and oh my god, I was regretting not trying it before I did that video so I could tell you guys how amazing it is. It literally reminds me so much of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation except more full coverage. It gives you that beautiful, slightly dewy, like luminized look, but it's so full coverage still. Like I love it. I don't feel like it's too, too full. I would say it's like medium to full. It's just honestly really, 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 really nice. Like I don't know how I didn't try this beforehand. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, except the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is less coverage, like by a lot. The next item is something that I mentioned in my last favorites, but I have to mention it again because I've been using it every single day, every single time I do my makeup. It's actually, it feels like it's even almost done. Like I've used so much of it. This is the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. Holy, you put this sucker on and you will feel like you don't even have oily skin anymore. Like, I wear this and sometimes I'm like, hmm, maybe I'm not oily. Maybe I have dry skin because it literally makes your face dry. And I feel like, oh my god, like my face is dry. Like, I feel like sometimes if you put too much of this, it's like you have Botox. Like, I put too much of this on one time and I was like, oh. like I couldn't even move my face because my face was just dry. So if you have extremely oily skin, this will be amazing. Don't get scared by the whole you'll feel really dry Botox thing that I just said. Just don't use too much of it. If you use just a little pea sized amount, this will be your dream, like amazing. Perfect for the summer too where you'll get really sweaty and oily. This is just honestly awesome. The next thing that I want to talk about are the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Colors. 
these suckers first of all do not move like they don't budge I was like the day before I filmed my two tutorials using these shades I was playing around with them seeing what other shades I'm gonna pair with them and they would not come off my hand and I had to use oil and the oil did remove it but even the oil took a little while to break it down these are amazing for the waterline. I used these in the waterline and they did not budge. This is Coral Reef, which I used in a orange tutorial that I did and it's so beautiful. And I used Ocean Blue, a kind of like periwinkle-ish tutorial that I did. I love these and they're just really, really awesome. I feel like you should definitely pick up the black one and also some fun colors to try for spring and summer. The next thing I want to talk about is this Smashbox Bronze Light Warm Matte Bronzer. I love this. Ever since I've been tan, I've really been into kind of slightly orangey bronzers. Like bronzers that are just a little bit more warm. Just because I want that like sun-kissed look. I wanted something a tiny bit more orangey. And I really, really love this one. I feel like it's so beautiful. What's nice about it is it isn't too pigmented. So you can have, you can kind of like build it up. Like you see how I just built it up right there? It's not too, too, too pigmented. When I do my bronzer, I don't want to just have too much on. I like to just kind of slightly build it up, and this is perfect for that. It also just looks amazing on the skin, and it's so, so blendable. So the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is a eyeshadow from Milani. This is in the shade Bella White. I forgot to talk about this in, this in my last favorites. I've been using this for a good two months now. I wanted to mention it in this favorites for sure because I want to talk about it to you guys. You have to run out and grab this shadow. I have never been a fan of highlighting my inner corner but recently I've really been loving that pop of bright white in the inner corner but I felt like no matter what eyeshadow I used I would never get that bright white inner corner like never I would get a little bit of a highlight but nothing too bright I've even used Makeup Geek, Anastasia, Morphe like no matter what white I used for some reason it just never gave this intense pigment pop but this one is amazing if you guys check out my recent tutorials and my Instagram posts I've been getting so many questions like what's in your inner corner because it just has that bright white pop and it's this bad boy it's only like six or seven dollars from the drugstore I've also been loving pairing it with my Sigma E46 inner corner brush when I first received this one because they sent it out to me when I received this one and I tried it I was amazed like it just fits perfectly and it packs it on still like it packs it on perfectly these two are just amazing you have to run out and grab them so the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about I have a couple lip products but let me just get the last eye product out so I've really been loving this Milani Colca Gel if you guys watch my tutorials you know that I've been using this I had like a little while there where I was trying to find an eyeliner that would really work for my watery eyes and I never could find one but this is amazing and I love it and it's been working. It's funny because I was trying all these high-end eyeliners. I was trying uh, Marc Jacobs, Estee Lauder, like all of these high-end brands when the whole time I had this sitting in my drawer from Milani and it's like six or seven dollars and it works way better than those ones it is so black so intense it actually goes pigmented in the waterline because I have watery eyes so a lot of the pencils sometimes don't even go but this is super pigmented and it lasts pretty decent amount of time no liner on me lasts a long long time like all day because I do have watery eyes but this lasts a good couple of hours so I love 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 this and on top of that the packaging is so cute I love when I find a good product that's good product on the inside but it's packaged so pretty on the outside and I get a lot of questions from you guys where to find Milani in Canada Superstore does sell Milani in Canada and some select Walmarts do as well so I have so many lip products to show you guys but I want to talk about these first if you're on Instagram and you keep up with like the makeup trends and all of the new like stuff that comes out you'll know about these um, LA Splash lip smitten mousse tints and also these uh, lip couture liquid lipstick waterproof ones these are amazing like they've been going everywhere on Instagram and I decided to uh, place an order on their website and buy them myself because I just I thought they were so awesome they're 12 bucks each and I feel like they're really worth it um, I did pick up three shades I picked up charm charmed sorry innocent vixen and ghoulish ghoulish is very 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 dark um, like I find that I was expecting it to be a lot lighter, like that's how dark Googleish is, but it is beautiful. The next one is Charmed, I just want to swatch them quickly for you guys, which I'm obsessed with Charmed. It's this beautiful like mauve shade. It's this beautiful mauve like 
pink nude but a little bit dark like more darker than like a pure hollywood innocent vixen is the most beautiful beige nude that you could ever find it's just amazing and that is Innocent Vixen. So you got Innocent Vixen, Charmed, and Ghoulish. One thing I do want to mention with these is if you do over apply them, like if you cake them on a little bit too much, they will start to crumble. I do notice that they actually don't last as long as the Anastasia ones. They kind of crumble a little bit and will turn into like little balls of lipstick if you apply too much. So with that being said, I don't rely on these to last too, too long. But um, I do really like them and I think they are worth the $12. The packaging is super cute. The colors are really nice. The price is right. And I just really love liquid lipsticks. I prefer to put them on over regular lip products. So I really do enjoy these. So the next lip product that I want to show you guys is this e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in the shade T Rose. It's so beautiful. It's that perfect like kind of Dominique by NARS kind of color. That very strong purple nude mauve shade. And it's just really, really awesome and super cheap. I'll actually just swatch it for you. I feel so bad if I don't swatch things. So this is T Rose. It's so beautiful. I love it. The next thing that I want to mention is something that I haven't heard so many people talk about, but I was randomly swatching things when I was walking around the store, and I found this Stila, what's it called? Color Bomb Lipstick, and it's basically just a very moisturizing lipstick. You guys know I love my matte products, but I find myself a lot of times when I go to the gym, if I already have makeup on, but my lipstick is kind of rubbed off, I want like that quick just kind of lip balm that has a tint to it to put on my lips. And I really like that for days like that, or even like those no makeup makeup days where you just want a light lip. This is absolutely beautiful. It's this, it, this one is in the shade Meg, and it's this really pretty strong pink undertone kind of nude. It's so nice. The smell, I hate because it's peppermint, and I hate peppermint, but I love the packaging, and I love the product itself. They're pretty pigmented, and they're just super moisturizing, so I feel like they're perfect for like that no makeup, kind of minimal makeup type of look. So the next liquid lipstick that I have to mention, there's so many liquid lipsticks going around, but these are the L'Oreal liquid lipsticks. These are legit, like the formula is a legit dupe for the Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks. It even comes with the gloss or like a primer type of thing, the same way that the Makeup Forever one does. I don't use that. I only use this, which does leave it feeling kind of sticky. But I would rather it feel a little sticky than having like this kind of glossy thing on top. Um, but I love this shade. It's so beautiful. This one is 11.9, so I guess 119. And it is so gorgeous. It's that beautiful, typical grayish mauvey pinky kind of nude like that really I hate to say Kylie Jenner lip color because that's so like over now like we're over that but it is that Kylie Jenner lip color it's so pretty and I really really do enjoy it this is a really good quality liquid lipstick from the drugstore it does not budge this will last all day on your lips and they're only like 10 bucks or like 12 dollars from the drugstore if you get them from like Walmart or Target in the US and it's just honestly amazing quality. I had to show you guys this. I'll probably be doing a drugstore tutorial soon where I'll show you guys how this works. So the last favorite that I have are the new Morphe Elite brushes. So I do work with Morphe as well in the sense where they send me new product releases and things like that and these bad boys just came out and I am obsessed with them. I had to talk to you guys about them. They don't pay me to talk about these, like I'm, I don't have to do this at all. I really just want to show you guys these. I am stunned, stunned at the quality of these. They, first of all, the packaging, like the way that the brush looks, do they not look exactly like Sephora brushes? I'll show you a Sephora brush right now. Look at this Sephora brush, how it like tapers at the end, and look at the way that the Morphe ones do the same thing. So not only is the quality amazing, the packaging looks so high-end. They're the softest brushes I've ever touched, ever. And not only that, they have the perfect density. These aren't too dense, but they're not too fluffy. So they pack on enough product, but blend it out at the same time. And this one is the E3, and this one is just that perfect bronzing brush that I love. Or you can even set the under eye with this, or set your face. I love this. This is a contour brush. It's the F, or sorry, yeah, the E4, I think that says, or F4 angled contour brush. This is the only angled contour brush that I've tried that I really actually genuinely like. I've tried the Sigma one before and I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys but I wasn't crazy about it. 
It doesn't mean that it's bad because I've heard a lot of people really love the Sigma one, but this one is really, really nice and I really like it. Lastly, I really want to talk about this one for you guys. This is the E6. You guys know that I'm obsessed with the Flat Top Kabuki um, F80 brush by Sigma, and that's always going to be my holy grail. Like, nothing's ever going to replace it. It's just simply, no question about it, end of story, going to be my favorite always. But this has come very close to it, almost an identical dupe of it. There's so many um, flat top kabukis out there. I've tried the Morphe one, like the regular gunmetal one, this one right here. I've tried Zoeva, I've tried RC Cosmetics, I've tried so many flat top kabukis that are dupes for the Sigma one just because they look like a flat top kabuki. But to me, what makes something a dupe is that it gives the same finish. It works as well. They feel the same density. They feel as soft. They are the same size. And this is the closest dupe I've found to the Sigma one. Literally, I have never had a flat top kabuki dupe that I've ever, like, picked up over my Sigma one. I'm not going to say I like it more than my Sigma one. Not going to go that far. But... I usually, like, I'll have my dupes in my little jar, but I'll always just go for my Sigma one. This is the only dupe for my Sigma one that I actually have gone for over my Sigma one sometimes. Like, I actually genuinely use this for my makeup during my tutorials. If you guys watch my tutorials, I use this recently. I use it when I do my makeup on a daily basis. The only difference that I will tell you guys is that this one is a little bit denser, but I feel like they give such a very similar finish, and they're both as big. Like, like, they're both the same size, which I feel like a lot of flat top kabukis, people make them too small. I love how big this Sigma one is, but you guys can even see over there, this is the Morphe one, how this Sigma one is a lot denser, but they do give very, very, very similar full coverage finishes. This is the best dupe i found for the Sigma one thus far. Okay, last brush from Morphe that I really want to talk to you guys about is the Morphe M504 brush. When I was using this brush, I was like, oh my god, like it just clicked in my head. Oh my god, this is pretty much an E40 dupe. So this Sigma E40 brush is super, super popular. But I think that recently what they did was this is synthetic, or no, this is natural hair, yeah. I feel I think this is the natural hair brush, but what they did was they made the new version of the E40 synthetic hair. So it's super different. Like, I'll show you guys right now. This is the E40. So if you go and buy the E40 right now, this is what you'll get. But this is the product. This is the brush that all of us beauty bloggers use and love and recommend to you guys. But if you go and buy it, it's super different because they changed the bristles. So the product is just not the same anymore. This is the closest E40 dupe I've ever found before ever. This is a very unique, really nice blending brush. And it's just, I've never been able to find something that's just like it. And the Morphe M4... Um, M504 is pretty much identical. This is the Morphe. This is the Sigma. The only difference is the Sigma one is a little more... I uh, see how it's just a little bit more round and fluffy, and this one's not as round and fluffy. And this one slightly tapers. Slightly, like, slightly tapers. But if you mess around with this one and just, like, fluff it out in your palm, like, watch what happens. It opens up the same way. This is the Sigma. This is the Morphe. So it opens up the same way as the Sigma one. So this is honestly a really awesome dupe for the E40 by Sigma. It's such a good blending brush for the crease, and I really recommend it. I feel like after this favorites video, a bunch of you guys are going to be going on Morphe and placing an order, because I feature them a lot in this favorites, but I, I love their brand. I, I really, really do. Like I said, they don't sponsor me or anything like that. Okay, so that's it for my favorites. Now on to the serious part, where we talk about the products that I regret for the month. So... I know, like, I can just hear you guys, like, right now, everyone's like, no, don't do it, Amy, don't call it a regret, and I'm just like, girl, I know I don't want to do it, but I gotta do it because I'm gonna return it. I just, I have to return it. It didn't live up to my standards. If you guys have, keep up with my social media, watch my videos, then you know this, I was so excited to get this that I listed it in my last month's favorite, which I gotta stop doing. I gotta stop getting so excited about products and listing them as favorites before I talk about, before I try them out for at least a week. I got so excited about this and I just love, like, you know when you're hyped on something, you're just like, oh my god, it's so amazing, like, I love it, I'm gonna love it, it's I'm awesome, I'm gonna list it as my favorite, and you get so excited. I'm done doing that, so I'm super sorry, I apologize, I won't be doing that again. The shades in this, I thought they were so awesome when I looked at it, but then when I actually try to make a couple different looks, like when I actually try to use this practically, like when I try to actually make looks with it, 
I find myself lacking like I find myself going to other palettes to find certain shades and I feel so sad to admit it but I really don't like the shades as much as I thought that I would another thing is the quality of the shadows they're really nice and buttery and smooth but when you blend them on the eyes they don't blend the way that I wanted them to they actually turn out very patchy for me I don't know why but when I try to blend them they just don't blend really nicely they like skip you know what I mean like like you have like little splotches and it just it doesn't look really good like I hate to admit it because I really wanted to love this product the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the Too Faced Endless Summer 16 Hour Bronzer I got sent the entire um, bronzer collection by Too Faced they sent me their entire bronzer wardrobe collection I loved the shade of this but when I tried to put it on the face it was super blotchy and it wasn't blendable at all so the quality of this one I really just don't like at all I will not be using this very much the next thing that I have to talk about is the Clarisonic Mia 2 it's been a journey on my channel with this bad boy I've mentioned it a couple times just to kind of keep you guys updated on it and I have to just give it up like I, you know when you kind of try so hard to love something and use it and you just gotta hang up throw up the towel hang it up and accept that you don't like it and that it doesn't work for you that's what happened with this I do have the Noir sensitive brush head on and I actually did buy the delicate brush head as well the delicate brush head still did not work for me I was still getting very inflamed rosacea a lot of breakouts and I was using it for a good two months and I was still getting breakouts after two months of using it and my skin wasn't getting used to it at all. I do have rosacea mainly on this side of the cheek and this was inflaming it like you wouldn't believe. If you follow me on Snapchat, I would keep you guys updated and show you pictures of and show you videos of my skin. My rosacea, I would just have all these like very inflamed red bumps that are just like puffy and red and super irritated all the time it just was not good for my rosacea I haven't been using it for the past two weeks I've been using my Vita Goods mini pro brush back again I've been using that one and I just love it it cleans my makeup it's super cheap and affordable but it does the job and it doesn't go too deep into your skin that it actually irritates it I feel like it's super soft and gentle I am affiliated with that company and I have a coupon code for you guys to get it for $45 instead of like 115 I think or something I will leave that link down below but I've mentioned that a hundred times on my channel and you guys love that brush as well I've had a lot of success stories of you guys ordering it um, with my coupon code and loving it so that is pretty much it for my favorites and regrets video I know this video is super long because I've been filming for a long time so I don't even know how long this is gonna end up being but I'm gonna stop rambling and let you guys move on because it's, it's, it's I've been talking for long. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll, of course, see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. And um, messy looking. Whereas smoked out liner is kind of like you don't fully want to line your lids. You're kind of just putting black going from the bottom to the top. But I'm sure you guys see here what I